There it goes. Sorry, the thunder might have there. But um, I'm out of this Citroen C1. That won't start. As you can see, I've got the um, multimeter connected up to the battery. This actually looks like it's been changed or at least disturbed. So I don't know if that's been charged or not. You can see that we're getting 12 volts there, but let's put it under load first thing I'm gonna do. Set it to minimum, that way it will store it on whatever the minimum voltage is when trying to start it. Crank it over, see all the lights come on and everything. Crank it, nothing. So now we go back to that multimeter that would have stayed on the minimum and see what voltage it dropped down to. It's dropping down to two volts. Now that's just never going to start the um the battery the um the car sorry okay so we're getting some power put in the battery as you can see it's coming up to what's that 14 14.2 volts let that charge up for a little bit and then try it again something else i've done as you can see way down in there just above my finger there i've taken a jumper lock wire and clipped it on the earth strap down there now this is gearbox side reason i've done that is if it because if there's anything wrong with that earth strap it could be pulling it down to put the power down to ground rather than putting it through the start motor by doing that i can see that there is normal battery voltage at the gearbox so i know that the gearbox there's no volt drop down to the gearbox or the starter motor because the start motor is earth on the gearbox and the block down there another thing i've done you can't quite see it there the green tip that's my wire wire running down there into the mounting bolt for the starter motor you can just see the solenoid at the top there and i've clipped onto that there we go, I can just about see it there. We clipped onto that just to see if there's any bolt drop between the alternate, not the alternate, the, between the earth strap gearbox and the starter motor where the start motor has been earth. And as you can see, we've still got that 14 volts, 14.5 volts running through the system there. So I'm fairly confident that there is no um, volt drop here, that uh, it is all nicely earthed, but we won't know until we try starting it. Okay, so we've had the battery charging for quite some time now. It's still dropping to around 6 volts. The customer has confirmed that this is a new battery. So I checked to see if the engine was seized, if it would turn over by hand, see if that, that, auto, that start motor was sticking. Needed to take a lot of power just to turn it. And I noticed that that lower pulley was moving, but this alternator one wasn't. That alternator actually seems solid, it's not moving at all. So we remove the belt and see if it will start now. And there it is, it started right up. So yeah, it was just too much drag on that alternator. That start mode didn't have enough power to drag all the way through on that C's alternator, and the system wasn't spinning through properly, causing it to act like a flat battery, but what actually was wrong was just there wasn't enough power for what was being demanded of it. It needs a new alternator, essentially. 